Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome into my kitchen. Guys, I have a wonderful recipe for you today. I am going to share a recipe that I like to prepare every once in a while when I want some seafood. We're going to get right into the video. First, guys, you're going to need you some snow crabs. And I bought a couple packs of snow crabs. Cause this is like a little snack for me guys then i have some lemons so you're gonna need a lemon i got some garlic you're gonna need lots of garlic you're gonna need your season guys and i have some butter you're gonna need a can of beer you could get the cheapest beer out there and you're gonna need some olive oil what we are gonna prepare first is our dipping sauce for our crab so i'm gonna show you how to do that first and then we are going to cook our snow crabs. Snow crabs take about eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes to boil. So I'm going to show you how I do that. This is going to be a real quick recipe, guys. So hang with me. We are going to get right into this video. Okay, guys, we are going to get right into the video. We're going to make the sauce first. So we are going to make our sauce, guys. This is our dipping sauce. So I have some salted butter here. This is what I like to use. You could use whatever butter you would like. Your flavor, guys. So we are gonna let that butter melt. So what you're gonna do, guys, you're gonna let this butter melt. This sauce is gonna take you about seven or eight minutes to make. So we're gonna let that butter just melt up, guys. Okay guys, while our butter is melting, I wanted to show you this little instrument here. This is for garlic, guys. And when you are preparing a sauce or a recipe, you want your garlic as fine as you can get it. So this is what I use to crush up my garlic for my garlic butter dipping sauce here. Also guys, we are gonna use some olive oil in this recipe. And the olive oil that I am going to use is called garlic roast. And I like to cook with that flavor of olive oil sometimes. And you can find it in any marketplace so our butter is still kind of melting, guys. So that's what you want. You want that butter to melt. And guys, this is the olive oil that we are gonna use today, okay? It's called roasted garlic. And it is really, really flavorful. So now we are gonna add that olive oil into our recipe, guys. And then we are gonna add our garlic into the recipe. Now guys, I don't want my butter to be brown because this is such thing as brown butter. So we don't want it brown. So we're just gonna let it cook a little bit. We don't want our butter to get brown. So then we are gonna add some lemon juice and to our recipe guys then we are going to add just a little of our season i have pepper i have obey i have some 
seafood seasoning. My container here, I got some black pepper. So we're gonna add this to our butter. Now guys, our butter is pretty much ready. So we're gonna set this to the side, guys, okay? And then we're gonna prepare our snow crabs. Okay, guys, we have our water boiling here. I'm opening my little beer here, so we're gonna set that back there. Then, guys, we're gonna add some lemons that I had left over into the pot. Lemon juice. Just add that into the pot. I have two cups of water in our pot. And I am going to add these garlic cloves. And we're just going to let that boil for a while. We're going to put three teaspoons of butter into the recipe. We're going to add all of our season, all of our blend into our recipe. And we're just going to let that boil up. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and add our beer to the recipe. And we're going to let this just mix for about 10 minutes guys before we put our snow crabs in this recipe okay guys now that we have two cups of water in our recipe we have our season we have our garlic and we have some lemons now you can put pretty much anything you want in your boiling water with your beer um we have butter in here so we are going to go ahead and put these crabs in this water guys i don't want a lot of water in our recipe so we're just gonna let these crabs just steam up guys in our recipe So then after we put our crabs into our boiling beer and our water, we are going to take that butter that we made and we're just going to pour some into the pot, guys. Just like this. And then you are going to put your top on your pot. And you're gonna let this recipe just steam for about eight minutes, okay? So this is what we're gonna do, guys, just like this. And we're just gonna let them crabs just boil for about eight to 10 minutes. And we have our beer, one can of beer, any beer you like, two cups of water, we have our, all, all of our season, our garlic, our lemon, and uh, garlic in this recipe. I have seen people use onions and bell peppers, whatever you like, you can put into the pot. But we're gonna let this boil for about eight minutes and I am going to let you see how our presentation come out. Okay guys, once our recipe start to boil, I like to take and just put a little of our juices on top of the crabs. And just baste them a little bit with all this flavor guys and the season, your lemon and your garlic. Cause we're gonna eat this recipe just like it is, guys. Trying to get a little lemon on top of here to let you see how the lemon look. 
You just let it cook all together. You put your little garlic in here, onions, whatever you have, and just take that juice and just let it just boil, guys, for eight to 10 minutes. And then your recipe is done. And you can serve it to your family. I like to eat this like a snack or before dinner. So I'm just letting my recipe just boil up with all that butter. Kitchen smell just like butter and garlic, guys. And all that season I put into the pot. If you like more season, guys, you can do that too. But this is how I like to prepare my boiled crabs. Once again, guys, you can buy any beer that you like. And just put it into your recipe and just let it boil. Okay, guys, we have our dipping sauce already prepared for this recipe. So the next step is I am going to serve my crabs to my family and I'm gonna let you see how this recipe came out. See you on the next video, guys. God bless you. Thank you for coming into my kitchen and keeping me company. And I will see you on next video.